one of my first TV auditions after California Dreams, and it was for X Files. And I have to say, I think I failed miserably at that oh, audition. Man. It was this really dark character. And then you've got me and I was like really high voice and perky. And he said, you know what? Jen, he's like, Jen, can you come back tomorrow? Um, I have a role that you're perfect for. And I came back the next day and it was married with children. Oh, awesome. And I booked one episode and then they called me back a year later and said, we want to call you in again. And then I did two more episodes of that. So it just it just happened really fast, you know. And you had some uh, epic things on that show. You got to punch Bud, <laughs> and you called Marcy a chicken, right? I think I said really bad things to her. I think I told her to shut the cluck up or something. Yeah, shut the cluck <laughs> up, yeah. I I don't know. I said horrible things. I did that, you know. It's so and and like the first day on set. I was in the first scene up and right after the table read, they do a table read and I met everybody. I didn't even know I was sitting next to Christina Applegate because her uh. hair was short and a different color and because she wore a wig. Uh, oh, for wow. that reason. And it's so funny. I was like, oh, somebody's reading for her today. Like, it's <laughs> so funny. But anyway, first scene up, I walk on the set, sitting on the couch, the dog sitting there. I mean, talk about... I felt like I was on acid or something. It was like such a trip. And, you know, and I'm talking to Bud Bundy. And then I had to, like, make out with Bud Bundy within the first two minutes, on, you know, rehearsing. And I'm like, this is so bizarre. And you have to remember, I'd only done one other TV show. Yeah. So I was told the second time, which really, really was nice, is that Ed O'Neill um, liked me a lot. And that's why I was back. Oh, that's and, so cool. Um, and he was very fatherly with me. I think he, he knew, I remember my car engine like blew up on the way to work one day and, <laughs> and I was a nervous wreck and he was just so supportive. And every time I came off stage, he would sort of give me the thumbs up and 